guys, welcome back to Bree Vlogs. My name is Bree for those of you that are brand new to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free if you didn't know. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never miss another video from me. So for today's vlog, it's going to be a life update. And my last vlog, if you haven't seen it by the way, I'll have it linked in the eye card right here. I didn't really give you guys much of a life update as to what I've been up to. So I thought for this vlog, I'd give you like a life update. So life update number one, I am officially done college after four years. The past four years I was at college, it was like really hard and stressful, but I managed to plug through and I did it. Because here I am four years later and I'm an official recreation therapist. I am so proud of myself. Even though college was tough, even though it was a pain in the booty, I still managed to pull through and I did it. And another life update is that I got a memorial tattoo. The eagle is for my grandfather who passed 12 years this November and the anchor is for my dad's father who's still here at 93. I didn't really hurt as much as I thought I was gonna hurt. I got this tattoo almost nearly three months ago so I was pretty brave. The lady that did it she's a friend of my fiance's cousin Nicole and so she was the one that did it and like the how I found out about her was Back in April, when I was finished, when I was finished college for good, Nicole was like, "Hey, girl, you should hit my friend's sister up because she does a lot of her tattoo, a lot of Nicole's tattoos, and she's really good." So I went on her Instagram and I looked through her page. And I was like, "Hey, well, this woman's really good." So I messaged her on Instagram and I said, "Hey, I am considering getting a memorial tattoo for my." both my grandfathers for one who's no longer here with us and for one who's still here and this, I sent her a crappy picture that I found on Google I'll see if I can find it for you guys let's see no it's on my one direction I'm writing it oh let's see which is my personal where is it I sent her a very crappy picture of what I wanted this is what I wanted the tattoo to look like. That was the image that I sent her. I found this image on Google. Not really the best. Yeah, it was April 21st and I said, Hey, I heard of your work through a friend and I'm thinking of getting my first tattoo. I've been looking at different tattoo artists and saw your work and love your work. And I was wondering how much it would be to get this tattooed on my arm. It's a memorial tattoo for my late grandfather. So I started chit-chatting some more and then she sent me this outline of the tattoo that she drew. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There's the outline of the. What, if you guys can see, that was the outline of, of my tattoo. That she sent me. She's really good. So she sent me that, and then we were all set. And then I messaged her on the 7th of June asking her. I want it small, but not too small. I still want it so people can see it. Originally, I was going to get it right here, but on the day I went in, June 27th, the, her name's Melissa, she's like, why don't you get it right here where I have it, like where it is right now, because it's a personal piece and it's really not that big of a piece, and this piece means a lot to me, so having it on my arm where it is, I can just lift up my arm and I can look at it anytime I want whereas if I was right here I couldn't really be able to see it that much so I'm kind of glad it's right here I love my tattoo I love it I went with my stepmom and my stepmom was like literally sitting beside me and then she was like so are you gonna get another tattoo and I was just sitting there like don't I'm just no 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 I don't know 
I said no. But like literally, I don't know what I would get if I were to get another tattoo. I really don't know because this one took me 12 years. It took me 12 years to have the courage to get this tattoo. 12 years. I don't, I don't know. Like, I keep asking myself that every day. It's like, what would I get if I wanted another? I don't know what I would get. I don't know. I really don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. I really don't know what I would get. I really don't know. But at this point in time, I'm going to say no more tattoos for me. This is the only one that I want. That's the only one. That's it. No more. But let me tell you the healing process for my tattoo. Oh my god. That was a fun roller coaster. Oh my god. It was itchy for one. I couldn't scratch my arm because when it was in the very early stages of healing and I was laying in bed one night and my arm was so itchy and like my tattoo got so itchy and I was like, oh my god, I can't scratch my tattoo. I can't scratch my arm. I'm like, Oh my god, it's a, it was driving me literally bananas of how itchy it was. So I was like, oh my god, I can't itch it. And then the tattoo aftercare form that Melissa gave me, she's like, just slap it. I'm like, slap it? You want to slap my tattoo while it's still healing? Oh my god, okay. And then she also recommended coconut oil as part of the no, organic coconut oil, pardon me. And so I kept rubbing that on my arm. And then the fun part was when it was peeling in the peely stage. That was a lot of fun. And, and then literally not even a week after I got my tattoo, not even I was going to Winnipeg for my uncle's wedding. And while I was down there, it marked two weeks post-tattoo. So I was like so pumped because I could go for a shower. No, no, I could go for like a bath if I wanted to or go swimming finally. Because when your tattoo is in the very early stages of healing, of healing, they tell, they say no bath, you can have a shower, but no bath, no swimming, and no washing the dishes because you can't submerge it in water for that long. So, I had a great excuse getting out of doing the dishes. Yay! <laughs> and so, the day, the two week mark when I finally got to go in the pool, my eight year old cousin's like, Oh my god, is your tattoo gonna wash me? Oh my god, no, 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 don't ruin your tattoo! And I was like, It's okay, it's not gonna ruin the tattoo. The tattoo is fully healed, and the tattoo's permanent. I was actually having a conversation with my little cousins a while back at camp, and they are like, Oh, I wouldn't get attached. And I'm like, Are you sure you guys want it? Because I'm going to tell you, it's different from a needle you get at the doctor's and totally different from a needle you get at the dentist. Um, can't move, for one. And, um, I don't know. I don't know my cousins would be, would be able to handle a tattoo. I know... One of my cousins, he has special needs. He gets freaked out if he has to go to the hospital. And he gets freaked out if he has to go to the dentist. So, And then it was funny because he's like, Oh, I want to get a campfire tattoo. And I'm like, uh, You can't. I don't know. I kept telling him, are you sure? Because like, he can't even handle going to the dentist without getting scared. And... I don't know. I told him you might want to think about it because once you get it, it's permanent and you can't take it back. So, I don't know. He's only 11. I don't know. He has lots of time to think if he wants a tattoo or not. I don't know. Mine took me 12 years. And this tattoo means a lot to me. I showed my dad's father my tattoo because he actually... Because the first time I showed it to him, he didn't know anything about it. I showed it to him. And he's like, oh, I don't like tattoos. But it looks nice. I'm like, oh, thank you. Then the second time he saw my tattoo, he noticed it all by himself. My dad's father is 93 and his Alzheimer's is progressing every day. So, it, like, his long-term memory is there is that his short-term memory is for garbage. Like, it's deteriorating. Anyway... 
So, I'm sitting there on the couch watching TV, and my dad's father's like, is that a tattoo? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, that better not be real. I'm like, surprise, it's real. And then he's like, didn't say anything. And I told him the meaning behind it and showed him. And he's like, I don't care. I don't like tattoos. I'm like, okay. Teach their own then. So, I don't know. My dad's father's not a man for tattoos. He doesn't like tattoos. He was a Navy man. doesn't believe in any of that. Anyway. So, and then, um, what else have been up to? Trying to find a job. Finding a job in my field is really hard, but I'm trying. I'm trying. It's so hard, you guys. And I'm that's pretty much all that I've been up to, trying to find a job. Oh, I'm going to tell you a, fun, a, a quick little story time video. So today, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart to get some medicine and some goodies for my fiancé because he's not feeling well. He's sick. So I asked for God, I'm like, can you drive me to Shoppers and I want to get him some medicine, make him feel better, get him some goodies and all that, try and cheer him up a little bit. So like... After I did that, and then a couple hours later, and like I think I was like 10 minutes ago, I went to go look at a package of water balloons that I bought. I bought the bunch of balloons that have a hundred. You fill and it's a fill and tie a hundred water balloons in 60 seconds. So it's the one reattached to the hose, and it fills like like a bunch of water balloons all at once. So I thought that. So anyway, I. Went to go look at my water balloons to see like, you know, what color I got and obviously, you know, they're green, which is my favorite color But they're not only green They're not all oh, they're not just any good green water balloons. I When I looked at the package, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I Not only did I buy a bunch of balloons. I bought raw and egg surprise stink balloons so these balloons are gonna or smell like rotten eggs. Who knew? I goofed up. Cause they were on sale for like ten bucks in this little bin at shoppers. And I thought, oh, I'll just grab a pack, you know. Summertime water balloon fights. Now I'm kind of on the fence now. Cause I didn't know these smell like rotten eggs. I'm going to have to find a way to put them to good use. Hmm. Hmm. Let me, let me know in the comments down below what I should do with these water balloons. Should I, like, prank somebody? Let, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below what I should do with those water balloons. But, anyway, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this life update. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll never miss out on another video from moi. And if you haven't seen my last vlog, I'll have it linked in the i card right here. Oh, and also before I forget, a little quick let a little quick update about my camp. So in my last vlog, I was at camp. Well, in my last vlog, I was at camp, and I explained briefly that my grandma and I were getting ready to put it up for sale. Well, it sold. So. I was a little ups I was a little down in the dumps, hence why I didn't really vlog that much after that vlog. But um yeah. After 13 years of being on our camp, that chapter has closed. Time to move on to something else. So yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know about that. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good afternoon, day, or night, or whenever you are watching this. And as always, I'll link all my social media is in the down bar down below. Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. I'm trying to be more active on there. I actually had a, almost a my I actually had a little mini freak out on Twitter. The Jones Brothers posted a video, and Big Rob came up during his part for burning out. Yo, my 12 year old self was freaking out. Go, I have it on my Twitter somewhere. I I, I hope to swear to God I do. I'll have my Twitter link down below. Both my Instagrams. My personal Instagram as well as my One Direction fan account Instagram. And that is it for today's vlog. And I'll catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye.